to this lightweight tilt between Max Holloway and Henry the Messenger Cejudo. The Olympic gold medalist, UFC flyweight champion, and again, you talk about work ethic, that conversation begins with the messenger, Henry Cejudo. It absolutely does. As a young boy, Henry understood that he wanted goals bigger than any high school kid should choose. So he moved to the Olympic Training Center, and he trained with me as I was getting ready for the Olympic team prior as a little kid because he knew winning an NCAA title wasn't enough for him. Ultimately, he became Olympic champion, the youngest in U.S. history, and now he's the UFC champion. What a career by Henry Cejudo. Well, his 13-fight winning streak is no more, but Max Holloway still makes this walk here tonight as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world when it comes to pace, pressure, preparation, cardio. Few guys are gonna be able to match what this Hawaiian brings to the table. And he can do it all. He's got great ability to get back up once he's taken down. He has takedown ability, but it's the range and the distance management that makes Max Holloway such a problem for everyone at 145 pounds. He doesn't seem as though he's throwing 100% effort with every strike. He's just touching you. Right. But the accumulation of damage that Max Holloway will put on you will make guys just fold in front of him, as we saw with Ortega and in both Jose Aldo fights. He's a big featherweight. We have seen him compete at 155 pounds. He has said he wants to move up to welterweight <laughs> before his UFC and career is set and done. He wants to beat me. Yeah, he wants a shot at the heavyweight <laughs> champ. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Holloway is 28, Cejudo is 33. Holloway will have a five inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record on 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And now with producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Plus Holloway. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. So here we go from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world, most fighters on. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Back to the jab now. No good. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Holloway whips on the left there. Ooh, 
Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Circling to his right. Lands up. Oh! He's got a serious right punch. Went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Stuff to take down, no problem. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Holloway. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take a toll as this fight goes on. What a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Big kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Ooh. Oh, straight right. Oh, beautiful. Oh, there it is. Dump City catches the kick and promptly counters with that takedown. Great timing, great recognition of seeing the kick coming and turning it into your offense. Big punch lands through the middle. Cejudo gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And they separate. Cejudo's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. His uppercut is blocked. 20 seconds to go. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. It got defended, but it will give Henry the idea that takedown may be coming. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight.
right, here we go with our second round. It is Max Holloway and Henry Sahoud. Beautiful strike. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Stuff. How good is his takedown defense? here. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Caught that. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. That's a big hook. is denied. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Cejudo's has got full mount now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Thus far, 81 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Well, a lot of connections, obviously, DC, and landing with 54% accuracy against him, Yusuhu. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Both fighters get up now. Max Holloway at his best in the stand-up here tonight. Could there be any better representation of Hawaiian MMA than Max Blessed Holloway? This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar. Oh! He's out! It's over! Point strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's call to stop for this contest. At three minutes, six seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Max Bless Holloway. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.